Okay, this is super important. Welcome back to another episode, Afro Senpai here. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos about building wealth along with a positive mindset because I believe everybody deserves to be happy and everybody deserves to be free. Also, feel free to check out the Facebook group, Investing for Beginners, Positive Vibes Only. Information in the description. Let's go. So some things that you're going to need to have handy is your basic contact info, social security number, email address, annual salary, estimated net worth, your banking info, and your employer's information. So we're going to be at vanguard.com. We're going to click on open an account in the top right corner. And you're going to open a new account. And for opening a new account, we're just going to say that I want to transfer money from my current bank over to Vanguard. And because I'm new here, I'm going to say I do not have a login. And this just recaps some things that you need that I've already covered in the beginning. And you want to select a general brokerage account if you want to be using the money in the next couple years. And then if it's just me, I'm going to set up an individual account. And if you want to do it with your spouse, you set up a joint account. If you want to just have something to live off of in retirement, you want supplemental income in retirement, then you're going to want to select a Roth IRA. I'll make a separate video that highlights the only two things that are different in setting up these accounts. Okay, next we're going to talk about our standard information. And real quick, <laughs> comment below if you know what Nickelodeon cartoon from the 90s features the character Smash Adams. But this is standard information. What's my name, common email, date of birth, social security, all that fun stuff. So you see how it, the continue button is gray and you think, what, did I enter something wrong? Just click outside of an input box and after you click, the continue button will then appear as clickable. Okay, again, standard information. It's just recapping, saying, is this correct? So here, you're gonna pick your login information. You set your own username. I just had Vanguard generate its own password for me because I'm not gonna remember this, and it's just a fake account anyway. Going down there and clicking that box saying, I agree that I want everything e-delivered. So they're gonna send everything to my email because nobody wants paper anymore. Okay, folks, we're about halfway through it, and I know this has been really grueling, but comment below the word investor if this stuff is making sense. I want to showcase that anybody can open up these types of accounts and become investors. It's just this quick and simple to do. So again, if you're feeling good, if you're feeling confident, if you're ready to become an investor, I need you to comment below right now the word investor. Let's go. This is some security questions. Okay, so here I have to provide some bank information. Yes, that is the real routing number to Ally Bank. You can Google this stuff if you don't know your routing number. It is public knowledge. That account number, however, is super fake. I just needed to provide a real routing number, otherwise it wouldn't let me proceed. Then we're clicking on the fact that we wanna move funds from Ally into my new investing account. I'm funding this with $100 because in the Investing for Beginners group on Facebook, I had posted that challenge of let's scrounge up $100 and let's start our investing count together. A lot of us are getting stimulus checks and also tax refunds. That's a quick 100 right there if your budget allows. Okay, this is the part where we talk about our employer. Standard information such as address, phone number, yada, yada. Okay, this is super important. The first three boxes are basically asking, are you related to anybody associated with Vanguard and or do you have any connection with stock market happenings? And so we have to click on none of these apply to us, assuming none of them apply to us. Okay, we click and now see, I put in, I put in for my employer McDonald's I'm a burger flipper, okay? 
And then they're going to ask me, is this McDonald's or is this McDonald's Investing LLC? And if I clicked on the McDonald's Investing LLC, they might try to flag me and say, hey, give me some more information about this company. So it's just straight up McDonald's, not connected to the stock market anyway whatsoever. We're not trying to cook the books. We're just trying to cook up some McChickens. Okay, so next we are providing our income. So whatever your annual income is, now for net worth, because this channel is all about having a mindset of what's going to happen in the future, and because this is a fake account, I put a uh, $1 million net worth. Please put your real net worth in, not, <laughs> not what you want your net worth to be, but what your actual net worth is. And then if you don't know about net worth, that is assets, so my money coming in, minus my liabilities, which is like student loans, car payments, mortgage payments, all that, yada, yada. The difference of that is your net worth. So we're gonna click. Next, it's gonna ask you, where are you going to be bringing money in from to fund this account in the future? And so typically, it's my wages and my salary that's funding this account. So indicating what kind of goals you want for this account, I selected growth just because we wanna grow our money. If you're closer to retirement, I would be in that capital preservation mode. I don't want anything, I don't want anything crazy volatile because that could ruin all my nest egg that I've saved up. Income, I'm using my retirement now because I need it as some supplemental income. Growth. I'm still young, I still have some uh, decades before I retire, so I, I want growth. Speculation is like, I wanna be in penny stocks. I wanna be in that crazy stuff that sounds too good to be true, so the blow up situations could happen a lot faster for me. But you can select up to two. So if you're young, growth and speculation. If you're older, income and crap <laughs> crapital. Capital preservation. Okay, and then we click and then this is just reviewing your application. Here's everything that you just said last click This is everything that we talked about. This is everything you're agreeing to and then you're gonna e-sign and then guess what folks guess what happens after that Those of us who were hesitant and saying, oh my gosh, I don't know how to open up an account. Investing is scary for me. One foot on the other side of that fear line is greatness. If you want this for yourself, you have to step outside of the fear. It's natural for your brain to say, hey, you don't know what you're doing. Stop this. That's its job. Its job is to protect you. But there's some times where you say, hey, this is my goal. This is what will lead me to a better future. And so this is what I'm gonna do. I believe in you. You got this. And until the next one, remember to smile because you are beautiful. Peace.